G'day everyone, that's Roz here and I haven't got my name up, I suppose I should because there's the likelihood there might be some of you who don't know who I am and I've got <laughs> Margaret, hi mum, how are you? Um, <laughs> at the moment I'm just going to go like that, I've got to take a breather because what I've been doing, I actually have been watching Oh, what's that show called? Margaret, you know what it is. It's her favourite, NCIS. <laughs> I've been watching that. And it was just on that crucial moment and I just really, really, really needed to watch it. And the other thing is too that Leanne's not going to be able to be on tonight. So she has sent me a message saying I've got caught up with being out to dinner and not able to join in. <laughs> so there's just a slight bit of modification around how I'm doing this tonight. So I'll be able to actually answer some of the questions, yes. Uh, as far as the more medium style, I've tended to, um, 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 you know, um, um, around that. <laughs> I haven't done the mediumship for a, a little while. I'm out of practice. It's one of those things that I do like to actually spend some time to, to tune in when I'm doing that sort. So it'll be cards, cards only tonight. And, well, whatever I get it on that intuitive level, the psychic level rather than the mediumship. I'm just going to try and close down the scroller. The scroller with that, that is where you can actually, oh, I see my finger's too fat. Anyway, that's that's my contact detail. So I'll just hide those because I find it distracting. So here we are having a lovely night tonight because I've managed to watch my wonderful favorite program i don't watch much tv and that's one that i do so i'll just go through some of the hellos and i haven't actually got a subject today besides the fact that it's one of those things that was pointed pointed out to me earlier this morning was i don't know sometimes like i do sometimes you don't think about what your life actually is like you're just living it and uh, I had a good friend just mention to me that, uh, well, you've really got it easy. And I sort of thought, well, yeah, I suppose I do have. I, I don't think of it. It's like anything that any of us in our daily living, we're just living through our lives and, and it's just not something that you think about. And I thought, well, really, yeah, I've got food on the table, a shelter over the head type of thing, and I've got the flexibility of being able to do mostly what I like doing as I want to almost, you know, I mean, there's the flexibility of being able to book clients in whenever I, I want to. It fits in with other scheduled things and it, it really is something that you don't think of a great deal, I suppose, because we are in the lucky country and we have actually, oh, I just realised how fluffy my hair is. Oops, <laughs> too bad. And the, you know, the, it's the small things you don't think about. And I was thinking, you know, as, as I heard this this morning, it's been weighing on my mind all day. And I thought, well, really, we're in the right place that we have for us. It, it's the perfect timing and everything of what we are experiencing as much as sometimes it's a bit of a drag. I just noticed that. There's my light. And that's only because the cards, being a night time, the cards don't show up real well. And hi, Jessica, how are you? And Lynn, how are you? just thought I'd say the hellos you know my hair is really starting to get very annoying and tickly I have it up and then I get comments from from a friend no don't wear it up because it just looks too and <laughs> uh, the little things isn't it so what we've got next oh, I'm just going to go through them because it's easier Leanne keeps a better track of this than I do and since she's not here it's just going to be me so I'll put the cards up. I'm going to actually do it this way. Let's see if this works like that. I've got the two, the cards like that, right? So I've got the three different sets. So I'm just going, oh, God, that's a bit interesting, isn't it? So the first set that I've got, and connect with past loved ones. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I'm being a bit all over the place, aren't I? I've got to sort of stop that, don't I? Connect with past loved ones and see if they have any messages for me. The way I'm going to connect is through the cards. 
um, mediumship readings are slightly different the way that I do them um, and, and I don't it's just one of those things as I said at the start I don't like to do those in, in public I like to tune in a bit so I've got the three decks I'm using the pixie letterman which I haven't used much at all and the other one that I'm using is the, the usual one that I love using is the Gilded Reverie, the one that Sarah Marchetti has as his artwork. And I've got these ones. I chose this out of my drawer. And this is Lisa Williams' Oracle card. So that's these ones. So I thought for you, because of the beautiful image on the back of the cards, what I was going to do for you, Jessica, I'll actually clear those and just shuffle to give you a card from this deck okay so they are a gorgeous deck different cards um, what <laughs> i'm tossing them around let's see what that is so it's dawn so it's and this is where it's going to be a bit difficult i think with the actually holding them up so you're seeing the depiction the picture there and it's um I don't know how I'm going to do this so that it's clear. It's actually the second card in it so that you can actually see that as well. So there's the picture of the card. And let's see if I can hold that clearly enough so that you can see that, Dawn, uh, Dawn Jessica. Um, so past loved ones, if you can, if it's going to let me focus that in, it actually is new beginnings, new horizons, birth and rejuvenation. So it's as we grow and change and become more spiritually aware on our journey, uh, we, have to, we have to appreciate that there are going to be new beginnings in that journey. So this card's actually ensuring that you, ensuring, <laughs> oh, God, it's hard to read this at the same time as holding this, so it's in focus. A bit interesting. I am, oh, good, I'm not muted. I did a whole 10 minutes, uh, 10, 15 minutes the other day that was totally muted. Anyway, this card does actually ensure you that the new beginnings are the start of a new era and new birth in your life that's going to open you up spiritual, spiritually so you are ready to grow. So it's the dawn of a new stage and age and steps on your journey for now. So... It also means that with a new beginning that there is also an ending and that's things that you don't want or need in your life still. So they can actually be easily and smoothly uh, left behind. So embrace that ending and know that the new dawn is going to be spiritually enlightening for you. So as you can see that gorgeous um, picture there, it really is that new start for you, okay, and a new beginning. So hopefully that's been helpful for you. And we've got Latika. Hi. Um, yeah, I'm doing readings by myself, though, <laughs> because Leanne's not going to be able to be here. So any messages for you? Now, this is where it's a little bit awkward because I can't keep going down and back and down and back as far as, well, it makes it very awkward. So it's this is where the potluck is, as in which of the decks I'm going to use. So I'm going to use the Sarah Marchetti for you, Lynn, and I'm going to either do two or three cards. I'm just going to move these out the way because I don't need those and we'll just put them up so that when I choose this deck, I can actually put the three cards down for you um, because I'm feeling that it's three cards that I'm needing to pull for you just to give that reading. So what we've got there is the mouse. Can you actually see them well enough? That's the other part. I'll just see if I can lower that a little bit more so that we can get that a little closer. Is that going to be a bit better? Hopefully. I like the mouse card because to me that's, um, to me it's the using the resources that are around, laying around and everywhere. What you've got there is uh, there's been plenty around you that you've been able to use, but you're moving through now. At the current moment, you're actually in a position where you're having to make a decision. And that's the difference between, whoops, the, the day and night. So whatever choice or decision you're needing to make, you actually need to move toward that. 
what I'm feeling is that it's going to be the one that is more in that nurturing moonlight energy. So when you get faced with that position, don't just look at the one that's got the brightest, shiniest light against it, that feeling of bright shininess. I'm feeling it's actually that you're needing to move towards that choice that really is a little bit more introspective and looking at what the inner message, inner lesson and learning is for you. So it almost does feel like you're needing to have some time of a self-nurture, self-discovery um, looking within so that you can actually start to gain more clarity around what you're needing to be uh, looking at, not what it's not what is for others. So I'm feeling in a little way it's to be a little bit on the selfish side and actually choose that pathway that is going to be more for you and what lessons you're needing to learn. Um, so hopefully that's helpful for you there, Lynn. Okay. Now, um, Emma, we've got you next. I'll just shuffle those. Can you see me having any babies and the time frame? Can you see me having babies or connect with my auntie? Well, um, the connection is only just going to be with that now. I'm going to draw a card from Lisa's, Lisa Williams's deck. Oh, this one here. There it is. So that one, the intuitive soul oracle cards. Because hopefully uh, if there's the positives on that one, I am feeling, yes, there is going to be baby, baby, babies. Um, yeah, there's there will be more than one at some point. Um, so what I'm getting there is choice um oh, and i can't read the book that far away but i look at that it's really quite hard to read i didn't think about that side of it when i chose this deck um you know as far as the, the having the choice but you look at that that really looks like the, the choice is looking at your options growth learning new beginnings decisions to make so it seems to me that uh, you know as with anything Having babies, having starting a family really is a very big decision to make. But it is your choice. And if things are looking right, that's what's going to, to work out. You know, if it's feeling to you to be at the right time, right stage, that that's part, uh, half the way of being prepared and having the body ready. It's having that not just the choice but the actual perspective and knowing that what is going to happen is in that positive, you know, as if that you are already pregnant at the time that you want to be. But this card is actually saying it's time to start looking at your options and understanding that we have choices in life. It's a time for growth and new beginnings, which, of course, starting families is, and it's certainly big decisions and big changes when you do that. Whatever decisions we make now, we are responsible for. So there's a huge responsibility in starting family, of course. However, if we feel into the emotion of them being positive and approach them from a place of love and understanding, we can only benefit from them. And that's from the choices that we make. So um, have the right frame of mind and readiness within that's going to put your body and, and your persona in preparation ready for that. So choices we have and the pathway we choose will be the right one for us. So at the right time, you'll feel that and know that and that's when you'll likely become pregnant for that first baby. We all have choices in life and it's important to believe deep in ourselves that we will make the right decisions. Um, so feel confident that that is part of your pathway. If that's something that you're feeling deeply that you're being led toward is having family, Feel that deeply and have that. It will move into the positives for that. Um, I, yes, multiples, I'm not willing to say really the how many. Okay, I'm not getting that from spirit at the moment. So, Karina, how are you? Now, this is going to be a bit of slow going because I'm a bit slower than what the end might be. Um, she just picks it up and goes with it. Well, you know, here we go. Um, I'm choosing the pixie cards for you. That's this deck. Whoops, that's this deck. <laughs> so I'll just clear them and have a quick shuffle. And these ones are quite a lot different in size. 
that they're quite interesting to handle. So um, lovely little deck actually. And I'm just I am just going to scoot down the line because it just reminded me as I had this morning. Um, yep, yeah, all right, that's okay. I just want to do a bit of a, a warning for people. If you just have a look at your cards there um, for the moment there, Karina. In case there is someone who is inviting you to actually click here for a free reading that replies to you specifically to tag you, please know that they that potential is that they are scammers, not invited to do that sort of thing on any channel really so don't respond to them because if I see them I am going to actually as much as I can while I'm actually doing the live stream I will try to do the report the ban and delete so it takes a bit of a process while I'm doing that or you can do that yourself as well so if you know how to that would be appreciated if there's someone who's deliberately tagging you and inviting you for a reading a free reading or something um, our experience is that you will be hassled later for payments and blah 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 so don't respond to them at all if you do you like if you actually reply underneath any of their comments when the ban happens you get banned too I think from what I understand so just thought I better put that there in case that does happen because it did to us this morning uh, to me this morning when I was doing the daily live stream. So for you, Karina, here is the cards I'm doing three for you. So you've actually got the star, the crossroads and the house. So it really is, it, it's telling me that there is some things, you know, as you're looking at the sky, that first star, wish I may, wish I might, wish upon a star tonight, it feels to me like there's something in your life that really is feeling like that wish come true that star factor that's been shining out about above and beyond what is the usual happening in your life so that shining out has also given you that choice you've got that crossroads come up now as to whether you do follow that star or that you're taking up a different one and you're moving through to a different um you know on a different pathway it feels to me like what, you, what you're being tempted by is that, um, you know, something that's different, something that's exciting, something that's like got a wow factor in it because that's why, you know, it sparkles and shines brighter than the others. I'm feeling that possibly it's more that that is the steadying influence, the stability, the house, the welcoming of where you're actually comfortable um, feel into that as to is it actually a house that you're wishing for that's going to be changing your path or location are you moving because of a house so that might be something that is in your pathway coming ahead or you're just going to choose the safe and steady what you're familiar with because it is comfortable because it feels safe there is those two options and that's probably what I'm feeling and that's probably why it's the crossroad in the middle. It's the excitement or the stable or, it, you know, it, it could indicate that you've actually been thinking of, um, you know, shifting and, and moving to a new home. So that's what I'm getting for you there, Karina. So hopefully that's a bit of helpful guidance. I think trust your instincts. Whichever decision you're making is the right one. So there's there's not a, an, an either or really. It's just, you know, taking that time to think on what your choices are and then deciding. I'm just going to bring that down a bit closer so we can see it. My poor little fold-up table is taking a bit of a battering there. So thank you for asking, Karina. Now we've got Jessica. Okay, can't I please have a reading? Now that's a little bit... You look at your grammar there. <laughs> it's just, okay, can't I please have a reading? Can't? Well, if I choose that you can't, yeah, that's a true statement because you're not actually asking for one. You're just saying, please, can't I have a reading? No, okay, can't I have, please? It's confusing. Would you like a reading? I'm going to draw a card for you anyway, Jessica. I'm just going to take the liniment, the um, usual 
this one the gilded i'm going to draw for you three cards i'm feeling that you're needing the three as well so that's the three now can you read you can see them fairly clearly let's hope so it is a little dull here but i can't put the light right on them because that then glares them too much so what you've got here is the well um, I'm assuming that that's you what you're looking towards there it's not a wishing well although the way that you've sort of asked can I please have a reading a bit weird uh, and the magnifying glass it's actually shining up for you you're needing to look in more detail although you're trying to look away from the detail so what I'm feeling is you're actually almost looking into into the well and wondering what is it that you've got there as because the well is more about your resources and what you can actually dig into from for yourself what you're going to be able to gather for you uh you know from what you've stored in the well or from what is that that well of um you know your skills your talents and that sort of thing you i'm feeling that you are sort of wondering what am i good at what am i talented at but you're not willing to look at other options it looks like you know what other people are telling you instead of you looking at the bigger details that are within you so that you're needing to actually go delve a little bit more into learning who you are for yourself and not relying on somebody else's something out of what is outside of you or in a well or stored somewhere else i'm feeling what you're needing to be doing is actually turning around that uh, perspective and start to understand you for yourself do that self-discovery and walk that path instead of relying on other people and and things that are outside of you okay so that one was for you jessica and Rosie, lovely, thank you. Hearing my voice tonight, yes, it was you that was doing the practice slip reading or something, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, I just had one of those days. And there's Jessica just corrected right underneath and I didn't see it. Yes, so I'm glad I was able to do your little reading. So thank you for at least asking for a reading. <laughs> Typos, fat finger syndrome, all that stuff I understand. So anyway, <laughs> oh dear, Emma, hello, can you see me having babies? Oh, you're the one, oh, you actually had it there twice, whoopsie. And this is where Leanne's really good at not doing the double up. She knows we've done it already. And I get confused. I wish my hair would sit down better. Ugh. Anyway, any messages for me, please? So Latika, I think, did we do one at the top? Yes, we did. So it would be really good if you please don't repeat them because the way I read through, I just go from the top down. So it's just basically wasting time, even though I know it fills up the chat stream and looks good by the algorithms and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It confuses me. <laughs> so, um, oh, just another reminder too. I have cross-posted this to the other pages. So the Ros Boundy page and the Hypnosis Plus with Ros page and Leanne's Leanne Winston Psychic Medium page, I cross-posted there too. So if you're actually watching from there, I'm not seeing your comments at all. I haven't got that monitoring in the background. I'm just concentrating on what's showing up in the Beeline stream. So do make sure, I wonder if I can type that in here. So make sure you're watching from this one my time tv dot live now i've actually put that in the comment stream right now so if you're seeing that even in the cross poster does it do it in the cross post? oh i don't know hang on let me do it this way let's see if i can do it this way which i'm not sure did i have it on a sticky note there it is at the top and i think i can actually move that so that that's there so please make sure you're watching at that one, the mytimetv.live, so that I can see your comments in the back end of it where I'm seeing them. Okay? Yes, please? Yeah, thank you. Um, where was I up to? This one. Rosie, will your rental property sell before Christmas? What I'm getting is a yes. Um, but it will just see what Lisa's cards Oracle deck says because she actually does have a yes and a no card in this deck. 
it'd be really good to have that confirmed with a yes card wouldn't it so there we go what have we got oh, we've got choice again so that card did come up before and i'll just see what's next just in case oh butterfly and that's change and transformation so i do actually think that that's meaning that the, the property is going to change hands before christmas Oh, not before Christmas, but before the end of the year is what I'm feeling. So the choice the choice is there. You've chosen to actually put it on the market already, I gather, and you've got the butterfly that's going to present that change. Okay. So that's a good, easy way of asking a question so that it, it, it gives a good, concise, tidy answer, doesn't it? It was almost, you know, it is just the yes and no but still being able to use the tool of the cards to help further uh, explanation for that, isn't it? So, Rebecca, good evening, lovely. Would la please like anything you may get. Hope you have a great... Oh, what's the great rest of it? Now, that one hasn't shown up. Now, sometimes these are supposed to show... Oh, I hope you have a great night. Um, some of the others were, you know, they were scrolling up. This one didn't. Interesting. Which deck would you like this one? So let's see what we get for you, Rebecca. Uh, just going to do. See how these fit in the hands? They're really quite small. Much, much different. A lot different to shuffle than the bigger ones. So you've got clover. Clover, that's good luck. Mice, be careful of who's going to pinch it. Uh, it's a bit of. Clover's the good luck card, obviously. So you've been experiencing quite a bit of good luck, and it's meant that you're actually that you've actually been quite. Um, you've got a lot of abundance around you, and thing and and things that are um, in that abundance. There's been a little bit of carelessness in how you've actually left some of those things around and about, and being able to be just picked up easily by other people. So. Whether it's, and I'm actually feeling that with the bear that there's the work that's going to waste almost, like there's some of this in the casualness of how you've actually dealt with some things that, you know, the the ability of others to be able to come in and just snaffle it and take away what is what has been your good work and probably taken credit for it. So I'm feeling... Um, in that good luck, be careful that the, it's a bit of a warning on feeling that you need to actually be careful in your abundance because that is still happening as, as far as the good luck is coming in. But be careful of how you're handling that abundance, that it's not just too casual and you're leaving it out and about for others to... Um, <sighs> I wouldn't say outright thiever, but but um, being able to, I mean, there's nothing wrong with sharing at all, and I feel that there's part of that too, but it's going to create a bit more of a hard work around, you know, a bit more of the work around it and being careful. You know, you are looking after and nurturing those that are around you in and sharing with that good luck, but just be careful how... Um, how you are actually looking after it. I'm feeling you need to actually be, that there is a factor of take some care in this. Uh, that's what I'm feeling with this set of three cards. Okay, Rebecca? So hopefully you know what that's about and, and can have it relate to you. So Wanda, good evening to you too. I'll just put these ones back and we'll shuffle them in again. And... We've got Emma, Emma again. Uh, oh, thanks, Rosie. I look lovely. I'm still looking at my hair and thinking, oh, my God, I did have it up this morning for a fair time. Oh, it's just, you know how sometimes by the end of the day you just have enough of it? And I know I've got a cousin who as soon as she sees anybody fiddling with their hair, she stops watching anything. She just doesn't like to see people fiddle with their hair. And I can actually understand that. Whoops. Slip of the finger. I wasn't actually intending that to be um, again. So can I please have a reading also anything about when I'm going to have a baby at all? Um, okay. My first gut reaction to that question about baby is no. Um, I'm feeling um, 
it's just coming through as a no for me. I hope that's not too disappointing, but it could be proven wrong. Uh, I'll take the key, the stalk. Well, there you go. It could be proven wrong, and we've got the clover again for you. Um, the stalk is about change more so. It's not just about babies, but there could be that there needs to be some investigation around why I'm not sure as far as why I'm getting a no in my intuitive, through my intuitive senses or the clears or whatever you want to call it. My sensing is a no for that question for babies. Not so sure about the at all. So I really do feel like there is a key that needs to be unlocking that secret. Um, so possibly you need to have some further investigation around the, whether it's your health factors, fertility factors, your partners or whatever, um, because that it is some change coming ahead. It could be that, yes, there is the potential for a baby because stalk can mean baby, but it's more about that nesting factor, family building, change of home sort of thing more so than just baby so look feel what you are sensing with it because it is the good luck there so I'm actually feeling it possibly is once things are investigated and and you know a key unlocking that secrets what I'm feeling okay so do have some further investigation around that and it's possible that that is going to be something that you'll enjoy is uh, the babies. You know, it's, it's always going to be a choice to have or not. It's just because a biological clock too might be ticking down. Doesn't mean it's, uh, you know, just because of that. Factor in, think deeply about your choices. Right. And Kat, hey, how are you? I've had an interesting quiet day. I've enjoyed it. Uh, had that thought process around, gee, you've got an easy life. <laughs> evening Ross <laughs> I love that two comments in a row and I didn't read the, the next one on yeah it's so so concentrating on where I'm at isn't it and D how are you will we get the house we love in Gladstone will our house in Cairns sell please I don't know why this isn't quite fitting in all of the comments on my, on the screen there but anyway, um, I'm feeling that there is a yes to both of those, actually. Um, timeline for that, not sure. I'll actually see if we can get Lisa's yes or no card from this because I have no idea. And I don't have my pendulum here because that sort of question, I really like to use a pendulum. Um, don't know, do any of you there, any of you watching, do you actually use any dowsing tools yourself? Um, dowsing, of course, meaning that the pendulum is a dowsing tool. Um, dowsing rods are a dowsing tool, obviously. Uh, you can even actually do water dowsing using water. So there's quite a few different tools that are available. Right. So with this one, oh, look, I will get the card. What number is it? Um, 24 on that one. So from Lisa's cards so I'll read this one out because it's one of those things um, it's been a long time since I've used Lisa's card so we'll just use the one card and it is wealth so the key words in this one are financial gain loss or gain but I think the question that you're actually asking um, you know the blessings accepting your all wealth that you are wealthy with love and emotion so it's time to focus on your finances accept that a change is coming but never forget that the universe has a plan so uh, it will not let you fail so I'm feeling that you, because your question is that you'll get the house in will you get the house in Gladstone and the one in Cairns will sell I think that's a positive even though it's not the yes card so, yeah, go with the flow, have that thought in the positive, know that it's already done and happening. So uh, I think that's really what this card is, is suggesting, a definite yes. So that's good. Um, so thank you for asking your question. Now, where the heck did I get up to? Whoops, because the thing does slide occasionally past things. Now, oh, good day, Sarah. How are you? Now, which deck am I going to choose for you? 
I'm going to choose this. I don't think the Lenerman for you. I think tonight you're going to have an Oracle card as well. So when you hear me knocking, I'm actually knocking on the cards to clear them too, by the way. It's not that there's someone knocking at the door. Okay. So just a reminder to make sure that you're on the my type, you know, this one here. Make sure that you're watching on that stream, uh, Facebook channel. Uh, I do have this simulcasting out to YouTube channel as well, my YouTube channel. Uh, I just realised that that is sitting there saying that we are live on YouTube as well. Okay. So, Sarah, <laughs> do you see anyone around me? Now, what's that one going to suggest? Yes, there is love around you. Oh, why am I doing three? Well, I'm doing three for you, so there you go. But what it is, and this is the one I'm going to have to go looking down like that because I can't. I can't see them in my glasses. I need new glasses. So this one here in the love one, if I go like this, then I'm almost like I'm talking to you. Does that look, look sensible or stupid? Um, heartfelt love, passion, unconditional love. So it's togetherness with your partner. So I'm going to say, yeah, you're going to have someone around you. Um, but you also need to be very careful of your health and your diet because that's what's there. It's looking after your body as well. And I think um, with anything, it's just taking the time that you're getting the right balance for you and being able to involve a partner with, with that wonderful focus, you know, around your love, love centre and looking after you in that respect, you first and a partner second, uh, you know, not in a selfish way, but you know what I mean. And it is, it's taking chances and and you know, jumping in with your feet first type of thing. It is like taking a risk. It is like a gamble, but it's going to be worth it in the long run, okay? So, and I think you know that as well too. <laughs> so jump in and, you know, see where the world takes you in, in that um, joining with a partner, so of any type. Right. You are going to have someone around you, so that's wonderful to look forward to, isn't it? And we've got Kat saying, hey, Roz, again. Whoops. Oh, that shifts the um, actual size of the screen, doesn't it? Um, I know that I've done one for you, Latika, so, and I don't think I have with Wanda. I'm just running up to the top again. Nope, haven't yet. So um, just clear the cards and... It's lovely to have um, so many on the screen at once. One of those funny things when people, when, well, when people, when I've done, the when I first started doing the live streams, and it is going back a lot of years now because I started way back in the Hangout on Air days, which is a long time ago. Um, oh, wow, you've got the playground. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, that's wonderful. I like that. That's nice. I'm not getting um, any other urge to pull a different card for you there, Wanda. So I'm going to look at the number. It's number 21. So um, 21 being, you know, in the numerology, it breaks down, like breaks down, it con contracts into being a three. So that's, uh, I love threes. Three is my favourite number because that's my birthday, day, date, birthday. So... <laughs> Oops, and I can't quite remember what it is for numerology. So the playground is about youth and playfulness, inner child, fun and laughter. So as we journey through life, we sometimes forget the side of us that needs to play and have fun and smile. So it's time to be reminded that you actually need to be in that space of playfulness. So we can get too bogged down with a serious side to life and the mundane things that consume us. So it is time to embrace the inner child that we have, listen to what we need from our soul and know that we can heal from within. And it is by returning to the child that we are, loving ourselves and laughing. And this is especially relevant for all of us, honestly. So rediscovering our youthful passions and letting go of the past issues that may have taken our attention before. So it will create a playground that we can return back to and laugh. And sometimes it's just those memories of a really good incident, you know, something that was special in our childhood that brings that smile to our face. 
and even sometimes just playing around in in a playful way you know remembering that child it's not childishness but childlikeness and that wonderment and re-experiencing that even now okay just take that on board as you're moving through your day tomorrow uh, and through the week, you know, as far as a weekend, then the following week. And just see how long you can actually have that feeling last as that, you know, that go back to the heart space that's like the child. Yes. Thank you, Jessica. That's lovely. Thank you. And we've got Mahana. So that's lovely. I'm going to go with the gilded reverie for you so we'll do this shuffle very quickly because this is a fairly easy deck to handle because it's the one i use most often three cards oh wow yeah 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 fish and the tree oh you've got a really good positive set there the three cards they're really lovely and positive because the fish is actually about the abundance and working together, it, it's almost like a, a work rewarded, but it's not just work. It's it's just the beingness of having the abundance and that full-on perspective that really, oh, it, there's, it's a richness in it, okay? And especially with the ring there, it's commit yourself to actually feeling that intensity of, of what is in your life that you can be so grateful for because of how much you have of how abundant your life really is and the deep roots that it goes back into with the tree and how fruitful because it is a bit of that fruitfulness of the, the land and the sea of what you've got around you in that depth because the roots and we've got the tree of life, that Kabbalah symbol in this one too as far as this, this tree card goes. And I love the rainbow. It's the all-encompassing you know, those contracts with self, the covenant, because the rainbow is the covenant that God gave as the floods cleared with that, uh, you know, Noah's Ark and all of that story. I mean, you don't have to believe in the, in the Bible and all that to actually appreciate the meanings of the stories that come from it. And we really are in that commitment, you know, it is. That's the covenant that we make with our, that God made with us or we make with ourselves and this is, you know, the ring that is that never-ending cycle, circle. There is a uh, no start, no finish type of thing. It just is so that we are actually committing to ourselves in our abundance and being grateful, saying thank you. And I think really for you, Mahana, that could be that there is going to be some form of commitment at a relationship level that's going to bring forward what is from your ancestry into your forward, you know, creation of family. And uh, it could potentially be an engagement or a wedding or something like that. So celebration and really I feel the excitement of all of that abundance of what is in that and I'm feeling the family realm with that for you, Mahana. So hopefully that um, resonates with you too. Okay. So thank you. And hi, Candy. How are you? Oh, nice little photo because I like looking at these, these little photos, trying to work out what that one is. Oh, it's a hat. Lovely. I like that. Hey, may I ask if I'll be in a romantic relationship with Russell soon? Thank you very much. I'm instantly getting a no, but because I know that uh, Lisa's cards do have the yes, no, we'll just see if there is that that pops up for you. Whoops. I feel like I should actually have my camera there. I might just change that to there because I can, I think, have that sit there without wobbling the table. Is that steady? Steadier? I just haven't got the right, the, um, <laughs> the light in the right place. Communication is one that jumped out. And I'm going to get a second one for you there, uh, Candy. The thing with doing it this way is I'm going to have to look this way now to see the comments. Can't win. Whoopsie. Oh. You got wealth, and I'm going to do a third one. So how lucky are you getting three of Lisa's cards in one too? And freedom. So there you go. As we're stepping down into the energy of these cards, what I'm feeling with the fact of the communication, uh, I think there's still a lot of work to be done as far as gaining that trust and, and development of a relationship to being a relationship. There is communication needed in 
yes, there's the wealth of what you're feeling together. You're feeling um, that feels feels to me um, like there is a wealth of knowing. It's not not in in the coin. It's the wealth of knowing in this one, and you're actually going to gain that freedom in the choices that you can make as to whether to be connected or not with what's his name was Russell um, I think there's still time yet to grow into that as being a committed and full-on relationship so whether it develops into something that's romantic I think there's still going to be time for you to to be free in those choices and you've got a, got a wealth of wealth of uh, time not time you know that the interaction that is along more the friendship line rather than romantic connection okay so that's what I'm getting from those three cards not a definite yes to romance all right now I'm starting to feel like this is a bit twisted <laughs> um now, Mahana, I'd already just done one. So will you start a family soon? I think that's also part of it. Um, look, there is potential, like anything, and that's a very general answer, isn't it? So, yeah. Um, now, Tonya, you would like a card too. I'm going to go with the little deck, like with the pixie. Pixies. Pixies. Isn't it a gorgeous little box? That's in a tin. I just loved that when I saw that and the fact that I really like reading with the Lenin cards. I think they're lovely. Did I clear that lot? I didn't, so I've just done it again and I might even do it again. Who knows? Because it's three times, so there we go. <laughs> just me. Sometimes it's what I do. Right, three. Oops, the cross. So there's something. Aha. Uh -huh. Right. So from that, oh, they are a lot littler, aren't they, when you see them from that distance. The cross is actually something that you're carrying. So there's responsibility that you've been carrying that you're able to now start to release, so let it go, because what you've got there is the stars and, it, and it, the stars are about exploring what is outside of and further afield and... You know, it, it is that shiny, it's not the shiny object, it's that shining light that's actually going to show you what you're needing to be doing the next, um, the next idea, the next path to follow, the next step that you're needing to take, um, the next person you're needing to meet or, you know, interact with or something like that. I'm getting a person coming into this so that there's someone that you're really needing to connect with that's been your shining light for a while that you've been a bit reluctant to step toward, the, the responsibilities that you've kept holding on to have been what's held you back. Now, you are releasing those now. That's what I'm feeling and moving towards what is your shining light and the star that you're needing to follow. Um, it's going to create that stability. You're going to have a change you know, like you're pulling up an anchor from a boat and you're needing to shift your location to get the better fishing area or, you know, to, to try again for throwing your line out and catching in a different area. That's what I'm feeling that this star's leading you to and you're going to actually find that patch, that, that air, you know, that it's going to move you into a space of a abundant security and and holding your ground and being able to actually know with confidence that you're in the right place for the moment so that's what you're moving into okay so hopefully that's um that you, that you're actually identifying with that with any of these readings and karina thank you thank you for that um just a reminder of course <laughs> the hand's not here but that's pretty obvious isn't it she may still yet be able to pop in, but I don't know that she will be now. <laughs> We're not far off the air, are we? I'm trying to get through as many as I can. Um, so Tina, I don't think we the, I don't think I'd done one for you yet either. So I'm going by the fact that I haven't. So you're going to have this Lenneman, the Gilded Reverie. 
So I'm just going to quickly, <laughs> I like the sunflower you've got in your emojis. I think that's rather gorgeous. And one more shuffle. I'll probably only do one card now that we're getting close to the finish. Wonderful bouquet of flowers. Um, you're being appreciated. You've actually got someone in your life who is recognising and appreciating you and expressing that in the way that they can. I'm feeling it is actually the romantic sense and hopefully that you actually do get a bunch of flowers, a really nice bouquet of flowers. I'm feeling that at times you've had that feeling that it's not, you know, it's like that, oh, God, you, um, that things have been a bit of a hard slog and, and that uh, feeling of running out of poof, poof uh, not, not that word, oomph, you know, that, you know, running out of the energy is what it's feeling like. And I think you really have been appreciated. You haven't known it, haven't been told it, and you are, it's coming. That is, that it's there. I think the expression of it sometimes has been a bit difficult on behalf of the particular person that you're thinking of that you'd really like that recognition from most. And it's not that you actually do live your life that you want to have the recognition. You really absolutely have to have it. But it really is nice to receive it, isn't it? So I'm feeling that, yes, it's there, it's coming, uh, and it's not going to be that far off, okay? So enjoy the flowers when you get them. Okay, it'd be lovely to know what type. <laughs> I always love flowers. Um, now, Latika, I think I had done yours. Well, I've done something for you because oh, now I'm nearly forgetting where I'm up to. Where am I up to? Here, yeah, that was Tina's, wasn't it? So, yep, there I am. So I think that's one that I was up to next, but I've already answered that. And that's where I showed up. Yes, there is where you're meant to be for those who are on those cross-posted pages. And um, now my time. Oh, now, that's interesting. I've done, oh, that shows up from the YouTube side as well, but it doesn't show it in the screen. I'm finding it's really interesting all the different ways that some of these um, platforms do actually treat the comments. So I don't think I had any that I've answered for you, Carla. So I'm going to do yours. And you've gone further here in saying uh, any from your animals that have passed <laughs> and that you were on one of the other pages. <laughs> oh, I think that's funny. No, look, that's fine. I'll do this one. And I'm just trying, I'm going to go with um, Lisa's deck with this one. So did I, I did clear that, didn't I? I'll just do it again just to make sure. So this is any messages from your animals. If I knew where to put my hands on my animal dreaming cards, I'd go for those, but they're in the they are in the drawer still. So let's oh choice. That choice card's coming up quite a bit. And gamble and pure. I'm going to go with oh um, so choice and gamble as, as the two together almost seems like. You, you have got something that you're needing to make a decision about. It is a choice whether you do or not. Uh, and at times you're sort of feeling like it's actually, obviously it's feeling like it's being a bit of a gamble. But, it, you know, you've got to decide is it worth the risk. So that's that one. It is risk-taking and jumping with both feet. This one here is the one, because we haven't seen this card tonight, it's pure. It's the innocence, the clarity, belief, honesty and truth. So I'm actually feeling ah, beautiful animals that have passed. It, it comes at the messages just come in with that beautiful innocence and love. And I'm feeling a real softness around what they're passing on to you. In you it, And it does feel like, whatever you choose because we're given the choice cards here pretty much two choice cards that whatever you're feeling that you're needing to choose between that because it's with that purity and love from your own heart whatever that choice is that it's going to be the right one 
and I'm feeling that they're actually supporting that for you. So it's putting that genuine, unconditional love that animals do give us, that we in our, uh, what we think is our superior minds, think we're above animals. Well, no, I think you've got that connection with them that's going to give you that very clear message as to which choice that you're actually going to make. And it's not really a gamble, but that's where I think your self-doubt is coming in. So treat it with the purity that you know that is being passed on to you from your loving loving creatures, those that you've loved that are passed in the animal kingdom. I get the feeling that you probably don't trust people that much <laughs> and you really do trust your animals. I'm kidding, a welling in the throat almost, like it's, you know, it's hard to communicate with people but you just have that connection automatically with your and I'm, I'm, I'm reluctant to say pets because they're your friends, okay? And we're moving on to, oh, that's Carla there too. So Carissa, can you see anything relationship-wise for me, please? I feel really awkward just having that camera there. I know it's going to, it's moving this around for you and it's a bit of a pain in the up, oh, bum. <laughs> But I like it there. I like that. I like that behind me. It just feels more natural. So, anything relationship-wise for you? Let's see. What's more relationship? I do like these cards. I'm going to try these ones again. Lisa's cards. <laughs> we'll have to see. I don't know how many more I'm going to be able to do. I don't mind going a bit longer, um, but I can see that I've still got quite a few in the list to do and I'm just not going to be able to finish them finish through all of you so thank you for being here though do you hang around just in case you never know because it could be some lined up that are double ups that happens and here we've got the communication card for you too Carissa so in relationships communication takes two doesn't it so I would say that it is um the positives around what you're wanting in a relationship you're going to need to communicate that with your partner um so it is talking taking action now that's card 13 i'm just going to quickly flip to that one so that i can see more directly from the guidebook because this isn't a deck that i use all the time um talking taking action listening and oh it's got that word opinionated uh, and I was only talking to my partner about that today, just asking, am I obnoxious and opinionated? <laughs> so interesting. This could be for me um, almost. It takes, it's time to take action and start communicating with others. And in this one, I'd say relationship-wise, are you meaning romantic type relationship or the ordinary relationships we have throughout our day? It is about communication. And you start voicing your opinions to others, step up and be heard. So that's what you're needing to be doing. And because I do need to get through a couple of others of the readings, I'll keep moving. So I think, Carissa, that's your message. It really is communication and moving through that. And, you know, as the two-way, a lot of communication is also listening. It's not just about your speaking. It is that two-way listen speak listen speak listen more than speaking um and rebecca is saying thank you so it makes so much sense oh that's wonderful so good evening to you leanne lovely to see you here too i'm assuming that you're probably still around uh, messages about your health now i don't normally do health things but i am going to just quickly Actually, I'll use Lisa's deck for that one too for you. I'll just draw a card for you, Leanne. Um, and just see what pops up. So, um, oh, summer. So it's heat and bark and vacation. Okay, I'm just getting that feeling of lightness that whatever has been issuing for you as your health, feel that lightness and having the light the, the warmth and, and, you know, that that feeling of uh, it actually feels like a release. You know how winter holds us in and makes it feel like it's cold, clammy, and, 
you know, when is it ever going to end? Spring is that really, you know, moving out of, which is still what we're in at the moment. Summer is coming and it really does give that lightness of feeling for me that there's the opportunity to get out and get some exercise and get moving and, and feeling fitter and allowing the body to do, and I'm feeling vitamin D, be out in the sun to get that healing energy. Uh, not overdoing it, of course, but with the, the moderation and and taking up some exercise and moderation and just getting back into that feeling of lightness and your health will improve. Um, if you really are concerned about health, uh, I'm not going to be diagnosing anybody as much as I am actually reading through the medical intuitive workbooks <laughs> at the moment. Um, it's something that developing and growing, but, uh, you know, for public benefit here no so do get it checked uh, if there's anything that you're feeling is out of sorts for you uh, I do have I'm starting to use this more and more and more as an adjunct to my the the sound therapy stuff because I can feel that the vibrational work is really really important these days so um, uh, good um, Feel, feel that in positive ways, that lightness of the, the summer energy coming on. And Chantal, I'm not sure if I've done one for you before yet as well. So I'm just going to, no, I'm just going to do a card from the Pixies for you. You've just got that lovely look about your face. I don't know what the makeup is. It's almost looking like hmm, an interesting canvas <laughs> with how that makeup is very interesting love it i do love it almost looks like pixie-ish so here we go you've got the moon and i'm just going to do the two the moon with the book no i'm going to do the three and the bear now we've already done some energy some reading around the bear but what that combination is actually telling me with the moon <sighs> The energies that are coming up from deep within, it's bringing your shadow work up and into, I'm feeling you're actually needing to be doing that work on your inner self and bringing those shadows up. Um, I would suggest that with that, you're going to need to actually write down in a journal what you're discovering around yourself and that inner journey that you're going to need to be taking because it is more than just feeling that you need to do this, that and the other. It's doing a deep inner work. It's not just that surface stuff. And that's what I'm feeling around your energy at the moment. I'm, I'm actually feeling like there is a, a, a block of sorts coming up from the depths. So don't be surprised if you're going to feel like shit um, soon because that that is going to work itself up and out of what is your energy, uh, you, it, it's something you really need to be doing. So do be gentle on yourself in that process, though, and allow, drink plenty of water, drink plenty of plenty of water just to get that flushing through so that it eases that process even faster. Hopefully that's helpful, um, but do be gentle on yourself in it as well. And Carla, I'm not sure if I've done one for you. Ah, yeah, got that there. And D, yes, my ring and your necklace. Yeah, so that's part of what was your message, wasn't it? And you use a necklace as well, Carla. That's great. Um, thank you, D, for that. And Leanne, you shared. Thank you. Um, I do like... <laughs> You know, it's one of those things that, you know, not that long ago, well, it seems not that long ago, I suppose it was probably a year ago when Facebook started changing algorithms and not showing posts because they'd penalise you for saying a particular word, for doing things in a particular way, which they're still doing. Um, so you're reluctant to actually say particular words and phrases. It really is changing the way that we behave. Um, they are conditioning us to, to follow the sheep, to follow their lead, you know, and, and I find that very frustrating, but it's what it is. Now, Carla, may I have an oracle card? Did I give it as an oracle card or was it one of the others? I can't remember. And I'm pretty sure, Candy, that I had done yours, hadn't I? I'm just going to quickly run back as much as it doesn't let me do that now. 
Ah, I think I had done it. Don't know. And I'm pretty sure. Did I answer yours, Rashina? I actually can't remember. See, Leanne is just so good at this side of it. <laughs> so, and she wasn't able to make it tonight. Um, when when will you get that call that you're waiting for? I'm thinking it's actually only a couple of weeks. Um, that's what's popping into my head. It's only a couple of weeks. So um, I'm almost going to leave it there because it's coming up. Uh, hi, Ray. It's coming up to time that I need to probably spend some more time with, with um, my family. Why were your comments deleting? I don't know. They're not deleting on my end. But anyway... And to Tiana, you'd like a card. I am actually going to make you the last one, and I'm going to do that from Lisa Williams's Oracle deck, okay? Now, I'm just trying to flip through reading some of those others, but I'll concentrate on your card there, um, Tiana. Uh, this is the one that you've got. Oh, it's autumn. So are you over on the... Um, <laughs> autumn are moving into winter are you in the um us or canada that's what i'm feeling there because your seasons are coming up the seasons are coming up and that's weird i can't actually check out where you're from that's interesting it doesn't as i go over the comment in the back end of the studio it doesn't come up. you know how it does in facebook you get the little bit of detail about a person so you're coming up into a cold time now, I don't know whether that's, you know, and of course it's moving with the seasons being the fact that that's saying the autumn and the winter there. So it is the progress of time as it should be and that's what's happening in your life. Things are as they should be and you will have that that seems seasonal. It feels like it's moving through a cycle again and it probably is. If there's something that you haven't learnt in the process of what you've been moving through or moving through your life. Some may be in your control, some of it may not. So just, and that's where with the seasons, sometimes we do have some level of being able to manipulate our environment around us, air conditioning, for instance, and that type of thing, the way we cool and warm our homes, um, or not with, you know, the fact that you, uh, I mean, it depends where you live, of course, whether you're getting iced in or rained out or, you know, having floods and stuff like that in the winters. Bring into your thought process the cycle of life and the gentleness of how it does move through for us, really, and being in touch with that in each and every present moment that we are connected to all that is and our seasons actually do demonstrate that as well we we do have a season for everything and a reason and all of that so it's happening in perfect harmony of what you need to be learning Chana. so <laughs> and i've got ray <laughs> just saying if you get this far in the chat i'd be so super grateful for a read look i'm just taking this one off the top for you what it is there's the bear what it is there's the flowers. I haven't shuffled any of these, so I'm going to put them back. I will do yours because it does sometimes feel like, ah, oh, it's never-ending wait, and then it's just time runs out. Okay, you've got this one. Oh, look at that. Isn't that the perfect one to have as a finish? Love. It's the heart. So as far as what you need to be focusing on, the message is it's love. Have as the basis of everything that you do Put your heart into it. Bring the love to you. Give the love out to all that you're connecting with. And I think the fact you've got those three gorgeous little hearts right in the centre, you know, grateful for a read and thank you kindly, I think that just demonstrates in and of itself that heart-centeredness that you are. Continue that and strengthen that and have that really what are you about in your life. What are you here to experience? It is love. Okay, so I am going to leave it at that. So thank you very much for 
your questions. Thank you for being here with me. <laughs> and, um, oh, you've responded there, Mahana. Uh, you've been married seven years in November but been trying for a baby. Uh, and just again, the positives. Think it positively. Having, um, I think you were the one I'd, that I'd suggested have, have the checking out done. Look, for some people, it just isn't going to be. For others, it is. Um, just know within yourself what you really want, yeah, and all that's involved. I dare say you've probably already experienced some of the testing and stuff like that if you've been trying for the full seven years. Um, it's the trying. Just let it go. Let it go and allow whatever occurs to be. And it's highly likely, yes, that will happen. Okay. Okay. And Candy, you mentioned that resonated. Well, thank you very much. Thank you for the feedback for those who have um, had their little readings and are giving feedback. So thank you. Uh, I'm not going to be able to continue through all of that um, through to the end because I'm still only looking at some of the comments that were done at 24 past and we're now quarter to 10 <laughs> and I'm thinking oh, that I'm in South Australia <laughs> so it's um Adelaide time Central Australian daylight savings time so <laughs> um so sorry Julie and thank you Tonya and Tatum I'm so sorry but I'm just starting to get a bit tired I really need to have a coffee and all of that so Thanks, Ros. Not sure who it would be romantically, but we'll see. <laughs> Look, put the intention there for whichever friendship, romance, whichever way that you'd like to have that. Yeah, so sorry, uh, Tatum, as well, that I'm just not going to be able to um, answer all of these. Where is he hiding? Under a bush. <laughs> I could say like we were told, no, it wasn't. You remember the cat, do you, are you of the era that you remember the Cabbage Patch Kids? Um, that's what my kids had when they were little ones, <laughs> Cabbage Patch dolls. Um, yeah, we did tell them the truth about all sorts of things, not just say, well, the stork and the, you know, babies are born down the back of the garden in a Cabbage Patch. <laughs> oh, there you go. So thank you, Carla. <clears throat> Oh, goodness. And sorry, Kathy, I'm just not going to be able to tonight. And animals are so amazing, aren't they? Thanks to my dog, Rocky and Rabbit and Lily. Are they the ones who'd passed? Isn't it so lovely that we can have that friendship and uh, say our goodbyes, but knowing that we're going to be crossing that bridge to them at some point ourselves. <laughs> so thank you for that. Okay, look, I am going to close it off now. And uh, I can see that, yes, there is some other, <laughs> I had sense that you'd only trust animals. Um, yeah, uh, you can tell I'm getting a bit tired now, can't you? So thank you very much for being part of my evening and apologies from Leanne, but it still is fun regardless. I really enjoyed doing the session with you guys, people tonight. I'm not going to call you all guys. And we might have tidy hair next time. <laughs> so thank you, thank you. Whoops, wrong. Oh, what's that one? Thank you so much. I understand completely. Been getting messages feeling uh, about more water. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So trust your instincts. Trust that intuition. Each and every one of us, actually, as far as that goes, it is the level of trust that we need. And you're in Australia. Hmm. Well, there you go. <laughs> Thank you. I can't remember now what, what it was I, I'd suggest. <laughs> it's one of those things I do um, have to say that I do tend to, as soon as I've done a reading and spoken, the memory just goes out. And ask my kids, but yeah, anyway, <laughs> it is lovely. Thank you. Uh, next week, hopefully, Leanne will be available uh, and not held up for any reason. Not that it matters hugely. It's been lovely to share time with you. Um, for next week, just let others know that we are live every Friday night. Well, I did have to cancel last week, I was absolutely exhausted. Um, but do um, let others know, friends know that we are live every 
Friday evening, usually with Leanne. And we do, most of the time, we actually have half the shows chatting and the rest is readings. You've got a wonderful list of readings done tonight. So it was very fortuitous in many senses. But thank you. I very much appreciate you being here. And tomorrow morning I'll be still doing my daily card spread reading, which is the general one. And, of course, you can still, if you need to have a personalised reading, um, that's the hypnosisplus.com.au or my Ros Boundy Facebook page. I do have that. I think it's the shopping thing or something. There's services there. There's ways and means of booking in with me so that you can have a more personalised individual reading or any of the other things that I do as well, which is on the Hypnosis Plus site. That's that. Yeah, where is it there and that? <laughs> I've got logos all over the place. Till next time, keep being the best that you can be. Namaste.